This is basically for the month of June. So far, month to date, we've done $152,000 oh, wow. so far. Probably gonna break over $600,000 this month. And we're only on the six. Yeah. We're only on the six. You tell me I'm sorry you need, but baby, you know that I'm bad for you, yeah. Why you gotta be so naive? If I treat you like one, I don't want. Men and women, how you doing? My name's Snooze. Today, actually, we're on the way right now to meet with a gentleman by the name of Kevin. Kevin, not only did he drop out of college, he makes 500K a month. And he's only 27 years old. He actually just turned 27. Not only are we gonna get a crib tour, right? We gotta get a crib tour. We gotta get a whips tour. We're gonna pick his brain. We're gonna see exactly how this guy got to where he's at. He got to retire his mom. He gets to take care of the people he loves. He's living the life that he's always wanted at just 27 years old. There's a lot of value in this video, so stay tuned. Also, I have a private community with like-minded individuals, entrepreneurs, multi-millionaires, aspiring entrepreneurs, where we all get to learn from each other, talk to each other. We have live calls and guest speakers religiously. We're actually having live calls this month about how to break out of the nine to five. We have a guest speaker that broke out the nine to five and now runs multiple companies. If you're looking to break out the nine to five or if you're looking to collaborate with other successful people or you're simply just trying to find your next career opportunity, whatever the case may be, click that link in the description below. Now let's get the video started. What is up? Nice to officially meet you. You too, man. Thank you for coming through. Of course, of course. Pleasure, what pleasure. Is up, what is up? We love the whips. Thank you so much. We love the watch. Hey, thank you so AP much. AP on the wrist. Little ting right there. Mm, little Louis Vuitton. Little, <laughs> little comfort level, <laughs> luxury comfort level. Kevin. What's up, guys? People are seeing you for the very first time. They see the watch. They see the whips. Yes, sir. Who are you? So what's up guys, my name is Kevin Pack and basically I'm a college dropout that turned into an Amazon seller and now we run a very large Amazon program that does half a million dollars a month. And you said half a million dollars a month? Ha half a million dollars a month, kind of wild. That's pretty wild. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you guys for coming on over and I think, uh, I think you guys wanted to see a little bit of the whips Absolutely, today. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, How old are you, by the way? Oh, I'm 27, you're by 27. the way. You're 27? Yeah. You're on the Forbes list or what? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll touch more on your story because I'm Absolutely. sure people are curious and interested because I want to know, 500K a month, that's crazy. It's wild. But uh, let's take a look at the, the whips here. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, so, these are beautiful cars. what you had done. These are my babies, all right? So I have basically kind of like a Skittles collection. Um, I didn't plan for myself to have such bright cars, but it kind of just turned out that way, mm -hmm. right? So this is one of my latest additions to my collection. This is my McLaren 765 LT. It's fire. 2021. Ooh. Um, and then this is my daily beater. Piece car um, my <laughs> so this G63. is the beater. Yeah, this is the beater okay, right okay. here, the G63 AMG. Um, and this is, I use this just like commute around when I want to okay. just drive really fast uh, to get somewhere easily and when I want to transport my dog because my dog is not getting into any of these cars. No, I feel it. Now, can no I way. call you Kev? Or? Yeah, yeah, Kev, yeah. How much is this McLaren? This is, uh, I paid 430 cash for this car. 430 cash. Cash paid for this out. Car. Paid out. This you got is, the pink I slip? That. I sent it to Montana because oh, okay, I have to get okay, that Okay, okay, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, I got it for 220. 220. And then Jeez. this is my 2019 Porsche GT3 RS. Mm. And this is a very special car because it's really specced out all the way through. Okay. As a Weissach package, is, I think that's how you Germans pronounce it. Okay. Um, but it's a special edition car. And um, this car, I got it for 250. 250. But, uh, yeah, but it's probably more worth like close to 300. A lot of demand Jeez, for this car, bro. 300K? Yeah, man. Damn. Yeah, I got a lot of DMs asking to buy this car off of me, but I'm just like, nope. You could get a Lambo Huracan for around that price yeah, or lower. That's right. Are you telling me that you might have a Lambo Huracan here too? I might possibly have one in there, but really? the only way we're going to find out is if we go in and let's see. Let's take a step. Uh, just, I'll take one, one step. Right. Let's go. That's right. Let's take a look. Oh, hell no. He does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Lambo yes, Huracan. Sir. So this is a Lamborghini Huracan uh, LP610-4. Okay. It's a 2015. This was my first supercar. All-wheel drive, right? All-wheel drive. First supercar, yeah, about 200,000. 200,000. Yeah, 200,000. So when you, when you got, what, what year did you get this? I got this probably a year ago. A year ago. Yeah, so when you first, when you got this supercar for the first time, and you're what, probably 26 at the time, 25. Yeah. Was it at a point in your life where you're already making a lot of money? Or was it more like, you know what, this is going to, 
I'm just gonna do it. It was a, it was a little bit of both. I'm okay, gonna say okay, that. Okay. So one of the things I had to do first is I had to make sure that my mom was taken care of first. I had I to make it. sure she was all good to go, and then I could finally justify a little bit more. Like, okay, now I can like buy myself like a supercar and just whatever I wanted. Actually, I love that. How did you take care of your mom? So basically, I fully retired her. Like, she doesn't have to worry about any medical bills, house bills, anything like that. That's beautiful. She gets a monthly allowance as well. So like, really, she gets like five k to just spend on whatever she wants. Oh shoot, that's like dope. that. Um, I bought her a new car as well, Porsche 2023 uh, Porsche Cayenne. Nice. So nice little mom SUV. Hell yeah, you know that's saying? dope. Um, so she's taken care of, you know, I'm in, and um, that's probably one of the biggest accomplishments for me. That was my biggest goal is to make my mom proud, bro. I'm in. I love her. it. Because you were born here, right? Yeah. So I'm right. assuming, was your mom, was she an immigrant? Was she... That's right, yeah. yeah so she was that, an immigrant yeah. from uh, Cambodia. So she came That's here beautiful. with basically no English, yeah. no money to her name, but somehow she figured it out to be able to help me get through Absolutely. You know, school and high school and like that. And, you know, it was the least I could do. To no, that's that, her, you know and it's beautiful that you could do that. Cause like, you know, like even my parents, they're immigrants, right? And they, yep. they come out here and they, and they don't know any English and, yep. and they work so hard to give us a yep. great life. And the least we can do is is what you just did. Yeah, That's exactly. a perfect example, guys. Cause it's like, yeah. what's the excuse? Like we have like people with Im immigrant parents, yeah. right? Like what's your excuse of just staying home and being, being lazy and For not real. doing the most you can with your life. And this is your perfect example. Man. They have less resources than us. Absolutely, yeah. Like so, if they can figure it out to make a living, like, and we have this much of resources and the internet and that, like there's just really no excuse. Yeah. Drive. So this house is about 5,000 square feet and has uh, five bedrooms, four bath. It's okay. worth about $1.5 million. Nice. Um, and I am renting it because it's a temporary home before I buy another one in Love Orange the County. Gotta be honest. And my rent on this is like $6,000 a month. It's not bad. Not too shabby. Yeah. yeah. Can't complain. But let's go inside and show you guys around. Let's take a look. Uh, I've only been here for like, I think like five months or something like okay. that. I'm planning to leave at the end of the year. The market on the houses are just yeah. kind of unpredictable right now. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to find my perfect spot. This is uh, this is like kind of the entryway. Okay. Um, and there's uh, this is an older home, so there's a lot of woods going on, a lot of browns. Um, one of the reasons why I picked out this house because I like this open entrance with Absolutely. the chandelier high and ceilings, everything. Yeah. High ceilings, big fan of that. Okay. And then we're gonna go down here, main living room okay, and okay. kitchen. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. Other things that really got my attention about this house too was the kitchen island. Yeah, like huge. Huge kitchen island. No pause. No pause, <laughs> just straight huge. I'm just gonna take that, no pause. <laughs> Nice chill living room with a fireplace as well. You can't okay. go wrong with that. This is my 70, 70 pound chow chow. That's not a dog. This is this is a bear. That's family. Can you carry oh, him? Oh yeah, of course I can carry him. <laughs> oh my God. Damn. Oh yeah, big boy. <laughs> All right. So my if we legs. go down this okay. way. Oh, yes, okay, okay. All right, now this, this is where the magic happens. Okay. This is where all my ideas and all the business and all the money is being made. Basically, like I usually start my days when I come in here and I work, I come in here and I, my like our inner circle group essentially and yeah. answer questions and, and go through whatever our clients need um, and make sure that the business is like not on fire and whatnot. I so see. it usually just runs in there. If I have any supplier contacts, I need to go through reordering inventory, uh, things of that nature happens in that computer right there. So Kev, you know, people watching, they always want some type of proof, okay? I Do you proof. really make the money that you make? You got anything you can show us, any proof? Oh man, yes I do have Okay, let's, let's right. take a look. All right, so this is basically for the month of June. So far, month to date, we've done $152,000 oh, wow. so far. So we're probably gonna break over Six hundred thousand dollars this month, and we're only on the Hopefully. six. We're only on the six. This yeah. is June. So, this is recorded in June six, guys. Right. So we'll probably break like six hundred thousand dollars this month, um, and yeah, and wow. we've we've we are so successful because we do so well with what we do, and we've generated over five million dollars in results for our clients, and we're gonna keep going, push for. So this is my uh, movie room over here. Nice. All right. So I don't know if I should turn on the lights or not. Turn there we on go. the light. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the movie room, I kind of chill here a lot um, when I have just like downtime and I just be chilling, watching some like Netflix with the projector and whatnot. Is this the balcony or what? Yeah, it's a balcony. You, you never come out here, Kevin, you know, with your cup of coffee? Like, I came oh, here one time. $500,000.
Came here one time. One time. But I was like, yeah, $500,000. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All Come right. on in. Come on step. in. Obviously, I have my bed here. Thank you. Shout out to my, my cleaners, my house cleaners who cleaned the house. My lovely girlfriend. Shout out. Shout out, Michelle. It's my baby. Is, I don't really decor my, my room very much. Uh, I'm sure when my girlfriend moves in with me, we're, she's probably going to pimp it out and everything yeah. open here. Because you're living very humbly, I see. Oh, you got some I watch? I try to, Ooh, yeah. Okay. A little, little collection. I can't just have one watch here. Yeah. So I've got Rolex Daytona. Okay. Two-tone, two-tone. Sure we get a focus on that. You know, two-tone. How much does that go for? This one goes for, I think, uh, 19000 probably. This is my... This is my first luxury watch. This mm. is my Rolex uh, Datejust. Um, and this one I got for 9000 I think 9, it's worth 000. like 13 nowadays. Yeah. Wow. Something like that. This closet area is my girlfriend's when she comes down here and visits. And then okay. this is my closet area. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lost and founds. Uh, don't close. Mochas. I have two Travis Scott's that are downstairs. I'm in. Thank you. Of course. Anytime. You know, we always love to see, you know, our guests is how they're, how they're living. You know what I mean? So let's get into it, man. You know, you, you know, your company makes 500K a month. How much do you get out of that? Yeah. So I take probably about like 200, 200? net uh, per month. So that's my, my take home that I can spend on whatever I need to. Let me ask you this. What was your first job? First job was actually, I told you like, um, my family is like immigrants. Yes, yes, yes. My mom's immigrant. So they got into like donut shops, uh, meat markets, like small little shops. Right. So okay. my first job was when I was like, um, uh, when I was 13, I was working at my mom's, uh, meat market essentially. Wow. So I was doing like the cash register, bagging things and stuff like that just to help the family. Absolutely. Um, my mom was going through some so she needed all hands on deck. And so I did my part and, you know, helped when I could. Where's your dad? Is he? Yeah. So my dad's out of the picture. Um, they, my mom and my dad like broke off when I was like probably early middle school. Mm. Um, so probably when I was like 12 at the time or something like that. Um, so it was like, you know, uh, infidelity going on there. So she cooked, my, she kicked my dad to the curb, but my mom's always been a, a driven woman and always done things on her own. So she always like, you know, had businesses on her own. Yeah. So she had a donut shop, sold that and moved into a meat market, uh, in Long Beach. And, um, yeah, she just took care of everything herself. Yeah. 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 Strong, independent woman. Huh? That's right. Are you, are you the only child? No, so I have a little brother. Uh, uh -huh. He's like uh, five years younger than me. I don't want to want you to like have to give a long answer, but like, let's just jump from the very beginning of like how you got introduced to whatever it is that you're doing. Got it. Yeah, okay. yeah I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when I first started out, um, you know, I went to school first. I was in college for a little bit doing um, business. Okay. Figured out that was like that was not the move. What college were you going to? I was going to Santiago Canyon College. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I found out like, you know, like this business stuff is just like a total waste of time. Um, and I challenged myself if I could try to make money on my own. So I started becoming like a personal trainer, mm. you know, training clients, you know, working at a gym and, and that stuff. How old were you at this time? Oh man, I probably was like 20 years old. Okay, youngster. Yeah, yeah. 20, 20 years old is at that time. Um, and then when I got into the personal training game, that's when I was like, okay, I, I don't think I can imagine myself doing this for mm. like another 30, 50 years, standing in a hot gym and training these clients, you know? Right. So, like, yeah. um, so I was like, I need to find some kind of exit plan. I need okay. to do something else. And then I started hearing around, uh, about e-commerce and like making money online. And that's when I got introduced to doing Amazon FBA and that's where I became an so Amazon seller. you're 20 years old at this time. At, like when started you, when I started personal training, okay. yeah, I was about 20 at a time, but then, uh, fast forward to when I was like 21 is probably when I started learning about like um, Amazon, Amazon FBA, okay. drop shipping, r passive income type of stuff. Do you remember who introduced you to that? Or was it more of like, you just stumbled the, across it on YouTube or yeah, I would say it's more of like a, I stumbled across it. I was just like Googling, like, how do you make money online? Mm. And like all of these different things come, came up. So like Amazon FBA drop shipping and like, you know, people said passive income through like right, real estate right. and shit like that. But I didn't have no money in real estate. I was like 19, 20 year old kid. I don't got no money for real estate. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, absolutely. You know? So Amazon just made sense. Cause I was shopping on there all the time. So I was like, why not have a product up there? You stumble across Amazon FBA. Yeah what's the next thing you're doing now? I had to first off, make sure I know what the I was doing. Yeah. So I didn't know what was going on. I did some research on YouTube. I ended up buying a course at the time 
that helped me get like my foot wet and mm. kind of give an introduction about, okay, what are the steps doing it? And it ended up being about, you know, starting up an Amazon seller account, finding the right product, sourcing it, and then having Amazon do all the fulfillment for you once right. you ship it overseas. Um, and yeah, that's basically the breakdown of it. Can you talk about like the first product that you know you experienced? Yeah, with? yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. the first product that kind of like um, validated that works was yeah. I was selling an animal repeller, right? This okay. is, it's called an ultrasonic animal repeller. And it, look, it basically looks like, like a stick that you put into the ground. It has like two eyes on it and it's supposed to like make ultrasonic waves to mm. repel birds and animals and deers and whatnot and just random critters right yeah um that product when i first launched it it made me uh nine thousand dollars in revenue within the first two weeks mm. right this is my first product ever i was only making maybe like four thousand dollars a month by my personal training job i was pocketing four thousand dollars from the amazon that amazon product right there so i was like more money that i ever seen yeah right? absolutely and i was like oh, this this stuff works right and that's yeah. basically what um, validated my experience. Well, how old were you at this time? And how long did it take you to find that type of product? You know what I mean? Yeah, Cause, yeah, yeah. Cause it, sometimes it takes months or right. even years, but yeah. yeah so I right. remember I was just about 21, 22 around that, that time, that okay. age. And, uh, it probably took me maybe like, a, a week or two to find that product. Mm. Um, I was really honed in. I would like work you know, you're on it. I was on it. Yeah, so like yeah. after I would work all day at my personal training job, get back home, work on Amazon, do product research and, you know, talk to suppliers at night. And I was just like, that was a cycle that was going on basically every day. How long did you sell that product for? And like, what was kind of like the next steps on like how you kind of grew mm, scaling? Yeah. You scale your, your, right. your business. Yeah. So basically that product, I sold it for a few months. Um, it ended up getting a lot of bad reviews because uh -huh. I didn't make a lot of mistakes when I first started out. So it was, the problem was the product didn't work. So like, oh, you know, it's for deers and stuff like that. Yeah. Deers would just kick it over and they, people people complain like it wouldn't work. So yeah, damn, it got a lot of bad reviews. Eventually I just had to sell out of everything and not make a reorder. Damn. Right. Yeah. So I failed two more products after that. Um, like they were like uh, kitchen utensils and a letter board and stuff like that. And then I got into the toys and games category uh, a year after that. And that's when things started to change. Interesting. Um, that's when I started making like, uh, I made $8,000 the first month for that product. And I was like, okay, we're back on track. We're kind of back to where things are working again. Um, started making profits, reinvested all those profits to more products. That same year, this was 2019, I started to launch that product in March. I was doing $8,000 in March and I scaled it to over $100,000 by December mm. of that, by the end of that year. From the toy products? From the toy products, yeah. So oh, it was wow. a couple of toy products and that is what projected me to um, want to quit my job and you know never go back to school and whatnot. Right? So th this is 2019 you said? So this is yes. four years ago? Yeah, So exactly. you're 23 at yes. the time and you yeah, scale yeah, so it to that. 100K a month, right. revenue. Right. How much were you pocketing the profit on that that was like 40 percent profit yeah yeah, wow. yeah yeah nowadays solid yeah it, typically for an amazon business you're going to find about 30 to 40 percent profit margins for a private label business i see now are you finding products like from the typical like alibaba is yeah. that just the traditional yeah. way that's the traditional way to do it because most of the things you can you you can source are only going to come from china like, yeah especially if it's silicone or plastic it can only come from china right so um, yeah, all of our suppliers are from China. We have a great relationship with them as well. Now you're saying you're making 500,000, your company makes 500,000 yeah. hours a month. Is this, is this still FBA, Amazon FBA, yeah. or is this some, like, a totally different? Yeah, so as I was growing my Amazon business, I met my business partner, um, his name is Kevin. Yeah, and his, his same name as you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a really tall, buff, white guy. Um, and he's an eight-figure Amazon seller. And we, gotcha. this is where the FBA Boss Academy came together. This okay. is where we decided to collaborate with each other and because we saw that there was a need of resources for Amazon sellers and you know we wanted to create a central hub for sellers to have not only all the right resources of like freight forwarding, photography, um, but also for them to become more profitable, you know, mm. uh, manage their advertising, uh, launch more products. So it's, uh, we do product research for our clients as well. Oh, really? Um, okay. So that they, they, cause product research is one of the things that takes a lot of time. Yeah. Right? It can take yeah. months if you don't know what you're doing. So we Absolutely. wanted to kind of just, 
um, you know, straight line that a little bit better um, so people can spend more time on making money and launching products rather than just doing the research instead. Because we know what we're doing on that end. Yeah. Right. So um, that's where we decided to build our company that is a you know, service based company and where we've generated over $5 million in results for our clients. Um, and we want to generate a whole lot more. Can we kind of talk about like the, the moment where you first broke 500K yeah. a month as a company? And and I know you said you're 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 getting like 200k yeah, yeah. profit for yeah, yourself. Basically, how how was that moment? When was that? And like, how did it feel? Oof! I think that was like uh, I can't I can't maybe it was the summer of last year or something like that. Oh, it was recent, but, huh? Yeah, summer yeah. of last year, and it was it was an unbelievable number. I was just like, I cannot believe this. I, I just it was more than I've ever seen. Um, my business partner is a lot more used to it because you know he runs yeah. a figure companies that so but i was like holy we're doing this thing we yeah. are doing this thing um and yeah like it, it it was almost it was a surprise but also not a surprise type of thing like it's kind of things like you you have that goal in your head so you kind of know like you what kind of you, envision you're envisioning it so yeah. it's like you, you kind of expect it but it's also kind of still crazy that it actually happened yeah right yeah because it's like finally there it's there yeah right manifested it yeah, exactly yeah. exactly yeah. so um it's a blessing um and I'm, I'm glad we have a great team of people are you still doing amazon fba in oh, general yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely is that part of your 200k per month or that is that just part of the I would, service no business? that's just service-based business so the other amazon business i'm running another like 30, 40, 50 grand a month on that. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, that's, yeah okay, yeah. That's, that's, that's beautiful though. Now, let me ask you this, Kev. How does one find, what is like a, like a category, maybe like top three categories? You I would say one of the hottest categories at the moment, I would say is gonna be in uh, home and kitchen. That's home gonna be a big kitchen. one. Um, pets is gonna be a very big one as well. Pet supplies, I mean, I buy everything for my dog. Um, I don't think about it when I buy something for my dog as well. A lot of people will, will buy more things for their pets than they will for their kids. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then, <laughs> and then toys is another great category to get into as well. Um, those are probably the three, three categories that are pretty hot. What are some other great things that you're able to do with, because you make more money? I think being able to, you know, first off, take care of my loved ones has been huge because that gives me a lot of peace of mind. Yeah. Like a yeah. lot of peace of mind. Like my, my, my mom's taken care of, my, my family's taken care of, my, my girl's taken care of, like she doesn't have to worry about none. So it's like that security for the people that I love means a lot to me. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, yeah. And I'll talk about being able to share the nice things that I have with the people that I love. So the cars, going to dinners, vacations, being able to do that, like alone is kind of whack. Doing it with my, the people that I love has is, is been a lot of fun. And, yeah. um, and that's probably one of the best things that money has been able to do is, is um, I guess create more memories and, and experience the nicer parts of life. Memories, security, freedom, yeah, freedom to able to do That's anything right. that you want. Did you ever think you would be at this point in your life or was it something, was there like a, a period, because I know you're, you're training and you kind yeah. of stumble across Amazon FBA, but did you know back then like, hey, like I, I know I'm supposed to be doing something that's going to make me a lot of money or that's going to make a difference in the world. Like, did you know that or is it something that you have to go through life and then Man, figure it out? That's a good question. I th I didn't know I was gonna go and be at this point. If you asked me like five, six years ago, I'd be at this point, I'd say, I wouldn't believe you. Yeah. It'd, it'd be crazy to believe. Cause what, what did you, who did you wanna become? Like, did you wanna like, you know, fight for a living? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, like, what I mean, I just, I knew I wanted to do things my way. Mm -hmm. That was the easiest way I could think about it. I didn't know I was gonna be a millionaire. I just knew that I wanted to do things my way and I wanted things to be done my way, yeah. essentially. I didn't want to conform to, school or a career or a job or anything like that. I wanted to just live life on my terms. This is my damn life. Like I want to live it the way I want to, you know? So it was never about knowing, it was more about a constant pursuit of want. Mm, yeah. You always want it better. And I, I think that maybe stems from seeing your mom work so hard. 100%. Because like, I feel personally you have this, I, I don't know, like sometimes when you talk about drive in somebody, yeah. cause I feel like you have a lot of drive, right? Yeah. Cause you're saying you're like, you're honing into like the Amazon FBA, you're like right after training, you'll come right. over here and like learn and figure yeah. it out. Um, it comes from another place, right? Yeah. It comes from a place of like being uncomfortable, being in pain, like seeing things that you don't want yeah. for, your, for your future. Having your a chip on your shoulder yeah, yeah, yeah. type of stuff. Yeah. So do you think it just, it comes from your mom because of the, how hard she worked? 
I will have to, yeah, definitely. I've seen my mom go through some unbearable things that she shouldn't have to, yeah. uh, especially as a woman. Like, there's no reason she has to go through that. I, I totally forgot to ask you this. Like, how much did you even start with when you first started? Ooh, when yeah, I, first I don't started. even know why I didn't even ask yeah. that because people would love to hear that. Yeah, absolutely. So when I first started doing Amazon, um, I probably spent about maybe like three to four K, I okay. would say, uh, for my first batch of inventory. How, mu how much, what was the quantity of that inventory? This is like 300 units. 300 units, um, okay. That's, yeah, three, 300 units. And then that's back then, but 2019, I would say nowadays, it's still kind of the same. Like, okay. Um, I would say you want to prepare yourself even more. You maybe have like five to ten thousand dollars nowadays. To 10, okay. Not that you're going to use all of that, right. but you're st still probably going to only spend like three thousand dollars on inventory. Yeah. But you want to have a bit more of a cushion in case you need to reorder fast, right? So right. you turn over inventory fast. You need to reorder fast. Get inventory in quickly as possible. What do you say to the person, or like, what are some of your tips or practical advice of how to get someone? To, you know, to go after what they really want in their life, you know, whatever, whatever that is. Um, I learned this from um, Andy Frisilla. He's okay. called, he called something a, a power list, right? This is basically creating three to five major tasks related to whatever your business is. And these are like non-negotiables. Like you have to work on these today, but you shouldn't be working more than that, right? You just have to focus on what needs to be done today and these are the tasks before you move on to the next thing and okay. that was probably a vital thing that helped me progress and get things going and stay on track of things um, uh, is is creating a power list a, a strong to-do list of just a, a few things and then when you're done if you finish early in the day cool like move on and if you know like you feel like you you um, there's more to do just wait till the next day right so I realize a lot of things aren't as urgent as you think yeah you know like yeah. sometimes you can just wait just the next day, right? So it's it's more about the productivity of things rather than just being busy all the damn time. This is right. I never write this stuff down, bro. It's always top of the head, but I should write it down. It's pretty good for top of the head. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what do you think is the, the true purpose of life? I'm gonna get really Maybe. soulful. Personally for me, I think it's just to be able to live my best life while I'm still here on this earth and be able to give back as much as I can to the people that uh, matter to me. I know other people might want to like change the whole world and everything like that. I don't need to change the world. I just want to be impactful for the people that have been there for me and love me and, and I love back, you know, and that's my circle of people. My oh, man. Thank you so much. Brother. Appreciate you. Hell Thank yeah. you so much that for having me. Awesome. Where can people find you? Uh, social media wise, uh, IG, I don't know, Twitter. Sure. Go ahead and shout it out. Yeah, so my TikTok and my Instagram handle is the same. It's Kevin Pac-Man, so it's P-A-K-M-A-N. Um, and that's really it. You guys can find me there and you'll see me post more content. Beautiful video. Kevin, he's a great guy. We learned a lot. We have things around us that spark inspiration, right? Things that, that give us a chip on our shoulder. It could be immigrant parents, for example. It could be growing up in a household where you feel uncomfortable and you don't want to live that life in the future for your family. So I think at the end of the day, whether you're inspired or you're not, find your reason why. Why do you want to be successful? Why do you want to make a lot of money? Why do you want to be in a position where you can take care of your family, your friends? That's all it really is. Kevin, his reason why was his mom, his family, the people that he loves. So find out what is your reason why and why do you want to do what you want to do? Because if it's just for yourself, that's not sustainable. That's not going to be fulfilling. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, like it, subscribe. Remember, we have that private community with like-minded individuals, entrepreneurs, successful people, multimillionaires. We have live calls and guest speakers religiously in the palm of your hands. You can network and talk to anybody there. Click the link in the description below. Hope to see you in that community. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. We out. Yeah, I'm on a big vibe. Beach side, cool breeze, stroll eyes. Yeah, on this late night. See a little baddie, yeah, she I I'ma just say when we try, baby Leave it all behind on the free mind lately Good things come around, you can say come and make me